Hey, what's up, audio files? It's your wingman, Mac320, back with another video. All right, so I've seen a, quite a few posts um, with people asking about what kind of headphones to use as far as either the studio or uh, consumer, regular consumer headphones. So in this video today, I'm actually gonna be talking about the SoDrop Pros from Ghost Tech. Now, these set of headphones are actually unique as well as um, the color white, which you don't see a lot of headphones out there that are actually white in nature and are actually not Apple headphones. If you notice that some, um, some, a lot of headphones that look like these are coming, are mean either coming from Apple or an Apple esque company. So, um, I find for these to be, you know, quite unique. Um, they're not legend, they're not in the legendary status, but uh, if you guys remember from um, back in the Tron days, if you, uh, if you remember the, the silver, the silver headphones that came out from um, Daft Punk, the, the monster headphones before I believe Beats bought them out or Apple bought them out, one of the two, I forget exactly who actually bought out who, but they actually had a, a decent set of Tron headphones that actually matched Daft Punk at the time. So uh, these here are pretty much, um, pretty much in a, like the 2020 version of the Tron headphones. I actually do like these kind of headphones. And so I'm gonna go ahead and dive right into it and I'm gonna um, break down about what it's about. All right, so pretty much right out of the box, or not right out of the box, excuse me. The box itself is pretty much the SoDrop headphones or where it comes in is definitely from Ghost Tech. You can get these for 80 bucks. You can either get them from Amazon or B&H Photo or, or Micro Center or something somewhere like that. These are definitely, I don't wanna say these are budget headphones, but these are definitely um, a, a decent pair of headphones to use. So, you know, right out of the box, you can d definitely tell that the box or the headphones are got some decent quality to them. The, see I'm doing the flat, uh, from the uh, from the top down view, obviously, you know, just you know, get them out the box and whatnot. The box itself is is pretty decent, and you know, right right out right of it, you can tell that um, there is definitely some quality to it. So, uh, with these headphones, you can definitely tell that it's not just you know your everyday plastic. It actually has cloth um, cloth into it, which in my opinion, um, I wouldn't necessarily use cloth as far as like the headphone, you know, you know um, as far as like thing that goes around here. This here, um, the, this is cloth on both sides. Is this cloth? Yeah, they're they're cloth like both sides. I, I'm not sure if it's cloth or polyester. It didn't really say exactly what it was on here, does it? So yeah, um, it does have the uh, the USB jack, the audio jack, as well as the um, uh, there was another piece. Oh, there was a USB cable, an audio cable, and a, a, um, a headphone jack to, to go with it. So. Uh, these are um, definitely worth having just you know throw them in the box or whatever or throw them in a, like a drawer or whatever um, so these are white style headphones um, you don't see these often um, if you remember the you know the from the, if you remember from the Tron movies um, they had like a silver style headphones back in 2005 2007 like that when when Tron the 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 latest Tron movie that came out with Daft Punk in it. They actually modeled those headphones um, from Daft Punk. I actually owned a pair of those. I forgot what happened to them, but um, these are basically a unique set of headphones uh, with the cloth piece to them. It's they are they are very soft in nature. Don't they do have quite a few plastic parts to them? They got the rose gold here, and um, the rest of it is basically white. Um, I wasn't sure if they had the black versions. I couldn't find the black versions, but. These are definitely uh, quite a decent set of headphones. So yeah, right out of the box, you can definitely pair them up to a smartphone or if you have a laptop that has a Bluetooth, which I do know that a lot of laptops and um, modular desktops out there do have Bluetooth. So if you have that ready to go, you can just pair that up um, via Bluetooth. These particular headphones are basically, you know, 80 bucks. Um, so you got 80 bucks to drop, that's up to you. Now. Um, how it compares with nature, I mean, there obviously you can see the difference in the, uh, the headphone band and color and the style and whatnot and the difference. Obviously these are like <laughs> $250 and these are 80 bucks, but these are definitely worth it. Um, if you, uh, so you got the, the volume buttons on the side here. Uh, there you got the volume buttons here as well as I forget what that button was for um, you got the USB that's also right here as well I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not got the USB thing magic and plug into that into the computer and I uh, got um, you got the battery indicators as here as well so you got obviously you got to charge it and uh, yeah these are definitely a, a decent set of headphones to uh, to take with you and you obviously can pull these out these don't go out as ones like like you do with the studio studio headphones but um, 
They do have a pouch that I actually just dropped somewhere. This is the pouch of what, of what it goes to. This is the Ghost Tech pouch. You can just go ahead and drop them in here. Yeah, they might need to work on this part. Um, all right, so Ghost Tech, if you're watching, might want to fix that just a little bit more because <laughs> obviously they don't fold in for you to you know actually do anything with them. So yeah, I would definitely recommend these headphones for um, decent listening, especially if you're listening to like some of the um, some of the more you know, uh, uh, harder genres like uh, house and um, dubstep and all that. Definitely, definitely um, the recommended headphones to use. I think later what I'm going to do is start posting um, some sound um, equalizers uh, or recommended sound equalizers for the for he for uh, a specific head set of headphones like these. For consumer headphones, you know, usually it goes towards the the bass and the the treble. As far as the studio headphones, um, it would be like a little bit towards the um, the middle, sort of kinda, because a lot of you know, a lot of folks would like to play you know songs at concerts and, and everything like that. So if I think I should be able to, I think I'm gonna put that together sometime later. But so yeah, these are definitely worth having. Um, these are very comfortable, especially you know when you put them on top that um, on top of your head. Um, definitely worth a. Uh, Definitely worth it. If you are a person that likes white, um, I would say no problem wearing these. I'm not a person that wears white or see, I'm not a person that wears white or uses anything that has um, a white color to them because um, white does get dirty and it gets dirty fast. So I'm not really <laughs> someone that does that. So I'm going to put these away and I get, actually get um, non white headphones, you know, black or whatever. And I'm gonna stick with that, but these are definitely the headphones um, that I would recommend to use. And um, yeah, I also have another pair of headphones that I'm gonna be doing in the next video. These will be the Shure headphones, uh, the SRH 840s. These are gonna be coming up in the next video. Just go ahead and look out for that. If you like this video, definitely drop a like, or I'm sorry, destroy that like button. Drop a comment, share, subscribe. You know, you know the, you know, you know the routine. And yeah, if you have anything that you would like for me to uh, talk about on this channel, as far as like audio stuff or any computer stuff um, that you would like me to know about, definitely say something in the comments. And like I said, subscribe, like, and all that other stuff. And I will definitely see you in the next video.